Welcome back, new episode of Modern Brew Life. Today we're actually brewing the Hef. Yeah, sense. we're not drinking Hef. We're not drinking Hef. ESB, but we'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. um, new venue, new beer. Welcome to different surroundings. This is different my backyard. Background. Yeah, his backyard. It's a fun spot. It's here, yeah. <laughs> um, but all the fun will ensue. Today is Hefeweizen. We're going more of your classic Bavarian style. Um, Not really, though. Well, we're, we're trying to get as much banana out as we can. That's true. So we're playing with it. Um, yeah. Or I guess it'd be like, here's our version of our Hef. Yeah. Or we were, a Hef. Exactly. We were asked, are you following a certain recipe or are you doing your own thing? We're like, yes. Yes to both. So we consulted a couple different recipes and kind of broke down the ingredients and what we want to make it. It's a very banana forward beer. Maybe have a little sweetness to it. We have some lactose that we might throw in the mix. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We don't the, know yet. The brew day will help us decide. <laughs> and so the, more beer. Mm, as, as always, but taking good notes while you do it. So um, for our 2020 half, we're starting with six pounds of German pills. Two and a half pounds white wheat malt, two and a half pounds of flaked wheat, and a pound of biscuit malt. Give it that, like, you know, bready kind of flavor and body to it. Yeah, if there was ever a banana bread beer, this would be it. Or at least we're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it all out. Um, we're gonna hop it with two ounces of Cascade, halfway through our 60 minute boil, so just for that last 30. Two and a half ounce of Willamette right at flame out. We don't want this to be too bitter. We don't want that hop to overpower it. So just a little in the middle and a little at the end. And then we're gonna use White Labs 300 to ferment. And that is their classic Hefeweizen yeast. It's gonna be then, fun. Uh, we mashed in at about 160 or so. Um, we got, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 minutes or something like that left in the mash. Yeah. So it smells I, great. Yeah, it smells pretty delicious. So after that, we're gonna sparge about two gallons and then uh, we'll continue with the boil. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hefty time. A hefty hef. Get all that dust in there. It's the best kind. Oh, smells like Bavaria. <laughs> now to add flakes. Flakey deep. Get your cornflakes. Get your Wheaties. Ooh, this stuff looks good. Mashy, mash, mash, mash. For the hazy. This is what makes it the Weizen. Alright, so. Mash is, mash is done. Um, we spaced and forgot to heat up the sparge water, so it'll take us like another five minutes. Um, and then we'll run it through, do like batch sparging and all that. And also, I just want to give a shout out to this company. Uh, let's see. Four Point uh, Brewing Company, or beer company, for this. Uh, San Francisco style IPA. <laughs> um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. Um, definitely recommend it if you can find it in, in a store near you. Definitely uh, pick up a glass. This good. You're gonna, you're gonna take a minute. Thank you. 
crazy how much green soaks up water. <laughs> With textbook over and over. Got it very heavy. This is the most manual labor involved with the, the brewing, is lifting all the grain out. Oh, and we can put that in our compost pile. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we'll just wiggle that around the, all the trees. Did Coral tell you he thinks the possum is pregnant? Yes, uh, I saw a possum last night. And an she, opossum? An opossum. <laughs> and uh, what I assume is a she had a uh, a real low hanging belly then she was kind of waddling like the cats when they were pregnant oh yeah so it's springtime i'm not sure it, it seemed kind of obvious to me yeah yeah we're at boil we're at that rolling boil stage pulling more boil. boil pulling boil um how's it taste I mean, I ain't touching <laughs> that. as the steam is coming off of the paddle no siree so we're doing that um so now we're at the rolling boil, rolling boil stage, um, we're going to set a timer and then as we said earlier in the video we're going to do, uh, once we get the 30 minute mark, add hops and then after that flame out and add some more hops. So we'll see you guys in 30 minutes. We'll let you know when we add the sugar too. Which is like one second in editing time. Yeah, the shh girl. Yeah, the shh. <laughs> Master said, "Turn the boil." Hey, look, turn the boil. He's okay, Master. Turning the boil. One hour later. The black model. The black model. <sighs> Welcome back. We've had our 30 minutes on the boil. 30 minutes remaining. Cascade hops. We're doing two ounces of these bad boys. Get a nice little look in there. Oh yeah, the little hoppy rabbit turds. Best tasting rabbit turds ever. I'll pop one myself. Mm. Ooh, dump. Here we go. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. Uh, we are at flame out time, so the water is still boiling hot, but flame is off. Uh, 2.5 ounces Willamette hops. Here we go. Willamette. Willamette. Willamette help it ferment. We will have to figure it out. Good old straining. This is old school stirring here. We're gonna let it sit for a few minutes, but not gonna boil it for just too long. Nothing like a good stir in the, in the bad juice. that green. They're aerating. Little aeration, never hurt anyone. Except beer, wine. Here we go. A little bit of lactose. Ounce and a half for five gallons. Yeah, like the leftover, like the green. Uh, the, the 
hummus. That's right. Gonna get the. So, what I did. Uh, this was like one of like That's right. Unfermentable sugars, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So. We're uh, we're at that point. At the uh, end of the brew day. Sanitization is next to godliness. Exactly. Um, so we're uh, sanitizing a uh, carboy right now. Six gallons. Six gallons. Anyways, so yeah, we're sanitizing the carboy. Um, our wort is down to a pitching temperature right now. Uh, we took our yeast out of the fridge. We're gonna sanitize that. The the packet outside real quick. Doing that too. Yeah. yeah. Um. And oh geez. and uh, soon we're gonna, you know, dump our uh, wort into our uh, fermenter and just let it ride and see how it goes. We're hoping it'll kind of be like. Um, Kind of bready, banana-y, kind of hefeweizen, kind of that whole uh, taste. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. We're hoping it'll be. One day we'll get 3D vision for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so hopefully, it, I mean, it's gonna turn out delicious no matter what. Um, the ABV. Probably, I'm just guessing right now, probably between four and six. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, but, I don't know, so far it's been an awesome brew day. Um, Coral, do you have anything to say? Suck my dick, non believers. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Woo! Alright, it's gonna be a great, ape, great, uh, not IPA. A the great, Germans are. Ro great oh. Hefeweizen. Germans are rolling over in their grave right now, but we got star sand and it's all the plan. So check it out. Modern Brew Life for the win. What's that? I can't hear you. Say it again. Modern, Modern Brew, Brew Life, Life for the win. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we're finishing up and uh, it's going to be a good time. Dear Diary, today we made a beer. And it was just not your ordinary beer. So today, kind of recap what we did. We did a Hefeweizen. Not just any Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen of Coral and I version Hefeweizen. So what we did, we did six pounds of German pills. We did 2.5 pounds of white wheat, or wheat malt. 2.5 pounds of flaked wheat. Uh, one pound of biscuit malt. And for hops, we did uh, two ounces of Cascade in a 30 minute boil. Then at Flame Out, we did uh, 2.5 ounces of Willamette hops. And then. Willamette! Willamette! To uh, wrap it all up, once it, you know, kind of cooled down, taking a chill, got the room temperature or outside temp, we pitched one packet of White Labs Production WLP 300 Hefeweizen yeast. So, that's their classic half yeast, and we're hoping it comes out super, or not super, super like banana to like yeast flavor. Can we get some yeast in the house? Drunk Nate, everyone! Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> but yes, so we're hoping it comes out kind of banana y, kind of bready. We're hoping the finished beer will be kind of like banana bread ish in a sense um but we'll have to wait and see um so thank you for watching and remember always um you know subscribe to the modern brew life channel like us too like us uh youtube instagram and you know all the beer awesomeness like me night like night ah! awesome. yeah and the five goes to the 101 mm -hmm. which one do you like the best which drive do you like the best